Hey guys, Dave Chamberlain here from Next Level Outdoor Reviews. Guys, I love sharing products with you that are made from reputable companies uh, that are quality products that'll help you uh, accomplish your goals, whether you're an archer at the range or you're a hunter that's out in the field. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about an archery release, specifically the Smoke PTC, and that's Push to Close. Now this is a great release, very affordable. I want to bring you guys in close. We'll get it out of the package. We'll go over the features of it. I'll do some shooting with it and uh, just give you my take on it. So guys, come on in. One of the first things you'll notice is it's a buckle style release. So uh, you won't have to deal with noisy Velcro if you need to take it off out in the woods for some reason. Um, I'm a big fan of the buckle. So you can slide that right in there and then that locks in place. And you can uh, use this clip as well to tuck uh, the flap out of the way. Buckle is just a great feature. Um, I've shot some True Fire releases over the years and I've always preferred the buckle. Uh, they're very comfortable. So go ahead and get this on. I'm a right-handed shooter, but the release can be used by right or left-handed shooters as well. So um, no problems there. Uh, great fit, uh, very comfortable. One of the main features that True Fire came out with uh, a while back is the ability to rock the release back and tuck it out of the way. Um, if you're hunting in the, the mid or late season, a lot of times you'll have a full jacket on, so you can tuck that right under your jacket. You can swivel it around to the back side. Uh, that way, if you're using climbing sticks, climbing stand, ladder, whatever you're using, the uh, caliper, head, or uh, the body of the release it's not banging against that uh, metal on your tree stand and just alerting the deer or whatever animals you're hunting so uh, being able to fold the release out of the way great feature i uh, love that and then you're right back in uh, position for action when you need to so super easy to fold out of the way and you can spring it right back uh, to where you want it during the hunting situation I'm working the way down the release right here. It's advertised as a dime-sized head. So as you can see, it's uh, very compact. My opinion, uh, the head itself, it's a lot smaller than a dime. So uh, just nice and compact, not big and bulky, not gonna get in your way. Again, this is the PTC model, push to close. Just go ahead and push it up with your finger and it's locked in. Um, Pull back on the trigger, it releases the jaws. So hunting or shooting situation, once you lock that into your D-loop, it's locked in. It's not coming off there until you engage the trigger. So very simple, push to close, and you're locked in. Guys, the next feature I want to talk about is just inside the trigger here, there's a set screw. And right there, you can easily adjust uh, your trigger travel. So if you're type of shooter or hunter that wants just a hair trigger you can set it up exactly for that where it'll pop off a lot quicker but if you're someone that wants a little bit more pull um, as you're taking your shot then you can uh, set that up right there as well so uh, you can just dial that in customize what kind of trigger pull you want and what works best for you as a shooter another feature is uh, adjustability uh, what length we all have different size hands, different length fingers, how far um, from the wrist strap we want the caliper or the body of the release to be. You have 5 eighths inches of adjustment right here that you can turn and dial this out if you want uh, more length. Um, throughout the season, you might start with a real thin glove and then switch to a heavier glove. So depending on you know what's on your hand, or how tight your wrist strap is, you might have uh, your strap over a little bit of clothing later on in the season, no clothing um, in the early season. You also have the ability to lock it down with that set screw that you see right here. So once you get a desired uh, length, if you don't want it to move anymore, you can go ahead and lock that down. Um, the strap, uh, you have a little bit of adjustability there as well with uh, the hole you decide to put it in as far as how tight you want it on your wrist. Again, that might vary with um, varying amounts of clothing that you have on. So the strap itself is very comfortable. It's made from no stretch material. So 
Uh, this feels really good on the wrist and uh, sits very well in your hand. Guys, so I talked about the release for quite a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, get the target set up right here behind me and we'll sling some arrows and see how it performs. Yeah, guys, let's clip in and give it a go. Guys, the release feels great. I'm able to hold uh, my draw right at my anchor point. Able to squeeze that release off very well. I got that solid back wall against your draw stop. Just a great smooth release. Um, I didn't adjust it at all from how it came from the factory. Very comfortable, uh, great trigger travel and uh, squeeze right there. I like how it locks right on that jaw. Um, if you lock it in your D-loop and you uh, look away or you're watching the deer coming in, um, you don't need to worry about it coming off your loop, stays right on there, uh, waiting for you for the moment when you're getting ready to take your shot at that deer. Um, so great feature of the release. Guys, I took some more shots off camera. I'm really happy with the way the release is performing. Um, no worries with it at all. Uh, feels really good in the hand, functions well. Um, I like the adjustability of it. As I mentioned, you know, as, as the season changes, the climate changes, your gear changes, um, your attire, what you're wearing. I like the adjustability that I can have with uh, just one turn even, how you can uh, just customize that release for the, uh, the, the finger length or the pull length that you want. So very happy with it. Great, great option there. And uh, uh, I'm just really looking forward to using Guys, it. Guys, I appreciate you checking out the review. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the True Fire Smoke PTC release. Overall, it's just a great release. Um, just fits in the hand very well, performs well, and um, it has many of the features that a high quality release has, or when I say high quality, just a, a high dollar release would have. It's priced right at around $60. Uh, depending on where you typically buy things from. I think it's $59.99 on the True Fire website. And that website's uh, Faradine.com. True Fire's under the Faradine Outdoors umbrella. So make sure you hop on there and check them out. They have many other releases, whether you're looking for uh, a wrist strap uh, caliper style or a hook style, or if you're someone that likes more of a handheld release, uh, a back tension release or a push button. They have lots of options. They've been our leader in the release game for many years now, so they're always putting out really good products. So hop on that website, like I said, faradine.com. Uh, they have uh, lots of options there that you can look through. So again, thanks for checking out the review. Make sure you like and follow my channel for more outdoor reviews. Take care, guys.